Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Flycast, the new standalone Sega Dreamcast emulator. Alright, the first thing I want to show you is, the first things you need is BIOS, that's very important. The ones that are like kind of included in the emulator is, is good, but it's not perfect. It doesn't run everything, it just runs some things, so I recommend getting BIOS and optional is cheats just because cheats are good <laughs> and the first thing you want to do is go over to your Xbox and grab Flycast run it to make sure that it creates the folder and files um, and then you want to go to uh, hold on okay you want to open up FTP Go down to start. You see that IP address there, 192.168.2.7. Put that in the FTP. I'm going to use. I'm going to use Flash FXP. You can use FileZilla or whatever FTP. Just make sure it's anonymous. Um, I'm going to go here. Go to Quick Connect. 2.7. Connect. I'm going to go to local folder. I'll look for Flycast, local state. All right, now I'm gonna look for my um, my folder here. Hold on, desktop Flycast stuff. Yeah, that's right. All right, so what you want to do? See the cheats folder? Just copy that over, just like this. A link to the cheats will be in the description. The bios you're going to have to find yourself, as well as the games. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, that my games are CHD compressed. So, yes, GDI, GDI, and CDI work, but my games are compressed because it's best. Don't have to worry about stuff. Um, and then for BIOS, just select all and transfer it um, under data. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to remember. Put it under data. All right. Now that that's there, we're going to head over to Flycast. So we're going to... Sorry. <laughs> We're going to bring this up, stop this, because we don't need it anymore. And then we're going to go back. We're going to go to Flycast. Also, my games are off the USB. So, internal, sh you can put your ROMs right where the emulator is. But anyways, first thing you want to do, go to settings. Um, I'm going to change this to VGA. You don't have to, you can if you want, if you want to copy me. Um, go here, the content location, this is where your games are. Press A and then down, A. Uh, see, this is the main directory where your cheats and everything is that you FTP'd, but I'm gonna keep going back. I'm gonna go to E, because D is my other USB. Emulator ROMs, Sega Dreamcast, all right. Now when you have it, press B, go down to select current directory. All right, next thing I, I want to do, press B, go up to video, turn on widescreen and widescreen game cheats. Um, turn this to 1440. Um, leave everything else default. Just trying to see if there was anything else I changed. Advanced. I do HLE BIOS. Doesn't matter. It'll use whatever BIOS you got anyway. Um, and that's that. Go to done. 
and now your games are here. So press A on it, then go to a game that you want to play. I'm going to go to Sonic Adventure. All right, now let's start it up. The game's going to run just fine, you know, and uh, in 4K. Too bad I can't record in 4K, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. But the one thing I want to show you before the uh, end of this video. To bring up the end game menu, press start and select or whatever the buttons even mean anymore. Go down to cheats. Go to load. Go up and select. Go back. Go to Q, cheats. Go down to Sonic. Hold on, you gotta select it. I thought you had to select the directory, but no, 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 no. Go down to Sonic. My my version is 1.1, .1, so whatever yours is, just try both and, until one works. Select it, and then you can enable it just like this, and then just close out, and it'll stay on.